Hello, my name is Sean, and in this tutorial, we shall look into the device manager. There is a constant change in the marketplace with device technology. The device manager must manage every peripheral device. It has four basic functions. One, it has to monitor the status of each device. Two, enforce policies to determine which process will get a device and how long for. Three, allocation. And four, deallocation, something we discussed previously. There are three types of devices to take into account. A dedicated device processes one job at a time. These are devices like printers, tapes, and floppy disks. A shared device can be assigned to multiple processes, like direct access storage. And these processes can be shared at the same time by interweaving requests. Finally, there are virtual devices that are a combination of the two, shared through a mechanism such as a spooler. A spooler is controlled by a program, putting jobs in a queue and taking them on one at a time. A printer queue would be an example of this. A good spooler should let you cancel or change the order of documents. Direct access storage are devices that read and write to a specific place, and we shall discuss the three main categories that are very well known. The size of a large CD, a fixed head magnetic disk storage, is covered with magnetic film. It has been formatted into concentric circles, and each of these circles is known as a track, and data is recorded onto each track by a fixed read and write head that is positioned over it. Movable head magnetic disks, such as a hard disk, have one read-write head that floats over each surface of each disk. They can be single platter or part of a disk pack, and because the head and arm can move, tracks can be smaller, resulting in more space to store data. It is common to be using a hard disk, as they have reduced in price, but they are constrained to the speed of the moving head. 7200 or 5400 RPM are the common speeds.